Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stranded Alien Dawn. We are going to continue our family business playthrough with the three sisters. We haven't really gotten very far to be honest, but we're going to do our best to make some headway in this today. And for those that are curious about the new jungle biome that they just added to the game, I'm right there with you. I think it would be really fun to play together on this channel, but you guys gotta let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing or if you would prefer that I just continue continue steaming ahead with the current story that we've got going on with these three characters here. For anybody that is looking for a really great seed for the new region, all caps Jungle Tack Book is amazing. There is a gorgeous waterfront view when you first land and all of the resources you could possibly want in a very close proximity. So that's my quick two second recommendation before we move on to playing. Oh man, what have we got going on here? I'm gonna pause, cause again, it's been a while and I don't really know what's going on. I'm looking at a dog. Is this a tamed dog? It is not. So I'm assuming I'm staring at this dog because I want to tame it. And I think Tina is heading this way to do the taming. That is exactly what she's doing. So that's good. That's one thing figured out. We do have two people with hypothermia. It looks like Krista is one of them. Katina is the other, which isn't terrific. I'm gonna let her continue unless it gets super severe. Hopefully I'm not just killing off this character so quickly. We do already have four dogs, but that's kind of been the running gag of this playthrough regardless. The fact that we have created an army of dogs when nobody else was willing to be hired to work here and have really been struggling just to get some basic construction out of the way, but we are finally building something way over here. It seems kind of ambitious. It's a little large. I don't want to do something small and temporary just to have to replace it later, so that's why I started out with this large construction. I did want to create a cute waterfront facing patio here and I've got the large windows in the front. It's gonna be gorgeous you guys. You just gotta trust me on that one until we can actually see it for ourselves when they do build it. We've researched spaceship deconstruction which would be great if we had more hands on deck to actually do some scavenging with us. The only person who is not freezing right now is Paulette and that's because she was smart enough to do a job that was close to the source of warmth. I'm gonna unpause for now and let them continue doing what they're doing now that we're all caught up and hopefully nobody dies. <laughs> oh my goodness, and hopefully the dogs are staying fed too because I know that's a constant um, pain point for me as a player is keeping food in the trough and already I can see that there's just nothing here for them to eat. Uh, it looks like it's also been damaged. Um, I don't know if that was something we did or a mob did when we were last attacked. I do get the sense that we were recently attacked considering all these uh, dead carcasses here. Not to brag or anything, but I'm a bit of a Sherlock <laughs> when it comes to figuring these things out after a long break. Risk of meltdown Krista. Did she complete her taming though? It looks like we're in the process. We did not walk her all the way out here just for her to have a meltdown before finishing the task at hand. I'm gonna make it trainable and we're gonna name it. I don't remember, what were we naming? Right, we were doing colors. Okay, red, green, blue, yellow. Okay, so we're gonna, hello, <laughs> click on it. We're gonna re, no, 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 not slaughter it. We're gonna rename it. This one's gonna be Indigo and then we're gonna lead it back to camp. And we're just gonna drop this one off right here and then I've gotta worry about this food situation. They need food, we need to hunt something and I, I want it to be something close enough to camp that whoever I send out there isn't gonna freeze to death. Hang on. So in desperation, we will very briefly consider this an option. Uh, it, won't, it won't be for long. So we have this. Let's see if Paulette will bring food to the trough. And then we can set these, the rest of these to butcher. And what is Krista constructing? Oh good, we do need one of these, a drying rack, so we can actually dry some meats and provide some decent food for our dogs. 35 glitter caps here. We will haul these in. Um, I don't know why we just have this stuff out here because we don't have a handler. Everybody's so busy doing other tasks that there's just nobody to do all this hauling and handling of things. So we are gonna also have her haul this grain. We don't have a lot of storage. We don't have a lot of anything yet. This is kind of a very sad situation we have going on here. We do have this and it looks like we'd never really finished building the other shroom torch. 
but we have a very decent looking graveyard going on over here. Alright, so handling it and uh, delivering is very low on everybody's list. Understandably so. Krista is our healer. Paulette does have um, a 4 in healing as well, so I'm going to actually give her a 1 in healing too, so she can help with the healing when emergencies or crisis occur. Construction, that's all Krista, and that is her number 1. Her number 2 is going to be research. She is the smartest, well, she was the smartest in the group until Katina went on that little uh, expedition that maxed out her intelligence. Katina is primarily our cook. Her job is to make sure nobody starves. She's doing okay. <laughs> She's doing okay at it. We have plenty of porridge, it seems like, so that's good. Krista is... What did we say she was doing? She's researching and constructing, and she's got her hands full with all of this. She's also freezing to death, which is a problem. Um, so let's just put her to sleep. She can't sleep because she is too rested. But what we can do is bring her closer to camp and hope that she gets some warmth off of the fire. Also, the temperature is rising outside at least a little bit. Maybe that will help. I really just don't want people freezing to death while I'm trying to figure out how to handle these tasks. And I do apologize if you made some suggestions for me in the comments on how I could be doing this better. I just decided because it's been so long that I was going to jump back in and just play this and hit record. Uh, so I haven't really done my due diligence to refresh my memory on what comments you guys made or what suggestions you made. So if you think of something that you're like, ah, oh, you should be doing this, say it again in the comments, even if you already said it before, um, just to remind me and refresh me, because um, I do want to use your suggestions. I just, I'm doing my best with time management right now and fitting this game in. It was like, either I could play it or I could do like video prep work and I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys understand. I'll try to be more invested in preparing for videos and providing better videos and more reactionary videos in the future. I just hope you guys will bear with me as we struggle through it and these women are on their own on this planet with no help whatsoever. I too am approaching this video in much the same way. I am an island to myself today, but I invite you guys to join me and help me out here. <laughs> so all comments are welcomed. Constructive criticisms, welcome. Non-constructive criticisms, also welcome if you feel like being recommended more of my content in the future because if you choose to leave a comment, YouTube's gonna think you wanna watch my videos. So that's on you if I keep popping up in your suggestion. <laughs> what we really need is for this building to go up so that we can actually get some people to come to this planet and help us out. They seem completely averse to joining any kind of um, colony that, that looks like, th that's like a shed. They don't want a shed colony. They want a colony with a proper building. All that cave dweller stuff, can't have it. <laughs> They're just not willing to help me out here uh, unless I put a roof over their head and a carpet under their feet. <laughs> but for the meantime, I kind of just really need somewhere for this to belong. So rotate this desk and stick it here. Paulette, you didn't have to go chop more wood. We just need you to move this workbench. Paulette is crying. I broke her. I absolutely broke her. She cannot take it anymore. Hypothermia. Fire is out. We have to fix this. So I'm going to bring her in to refuel this fire. We have got to keep them warm. Okay, so maybe now we'll get some tailoring. Let's do some jackets. I think we need three jackets. So let's have Paulette finish what she's doing there and then she's gonna sew a jacket because everybody's freezing. Tailoring should have been at the top of the list. I don't know why I didn't do that sooner but there we go. Everybody's sleep is being disturbed though by the fact that Paulette is tailoring. So I'm gonna have her haul this to the shelf and then she can go to sleep. Now we're on point. Hey a trade ship! Hopefully we have something worth trading. It looks like they're more interested in like apparel and stuff which we haven't even made for ourselves yet but we can definitely sell these um healing bombs that Paulette was crafting so at least they were making some money and I kind of feel like that's all I want to sell but I don't want to just make 19,000 off of this so maybe we can settle on having 10 sell five of them that bumps us to about 22k. It's meager it's super meager. We don't really have anything else that they want. It's not a lot, but we need the money anyway. If we're gonna start hiring folks, we need to at least have enough to cover somebody's salary. So we're gonna do that. How is Krista freezing right now? Let's set her to research. That way she will not be freezing. Paulette is petting a dog. Katina is petting a dog. Who could blame them? I would be doing that too. That's how I would start my morning. <laughs> 
That is kind of how I start my morning, but I have cats. So I start by petting cats. <gasps> we have a newborn dog. Look at how tiny it is. It's so little. Red, orange, yellow, Roy, G, green, Viv, blue, indigo, violet. So we can go with violet before we have to re resort to using orange. And yeah, please be a girl. Oh, it's a male dog, no. Okay, it's a male dog. We're gonna name this one orange and save Violet for a female dog. We've almost maxed out the colors of the rainbow on dogs. That's how many dogs we have. <laughs> I do have everybody staying really close here to camp just because I don't like them freezing. Uh, since she's decided to head out and farm, I'm gonna bring her back in so that she can load up our trading pod and get that money because we're gonna need it to hire somebody for sure because we're gonna need to spend money to make money. We're gonna need to hire somebody in order to do enough work at camp to have a product to sell. Does that make sense? I hope so. We also need somebody just to be a, a dog handler at this point to make sure that they're trained and fed. So we're gonna bring Paula over here to feed these dogs, these poor dogs. I also need more beds. We're way behind in beds, I think. So let's make a few more. We're gonna make, <laughs> we're gonna make a bed. Okay, here for uh, orange and here for the other one that we just tamed at the beginning beginning indigo so that every dog has a bed. Every dog deserves a bed. Uh, old equipment, not surprising. We were in the middle of tailoring, so we're trying to fix this. It looks like we need to add shoes. We have two jackets in stock, so now we just need one more. That wasn't the problem. The jacket wasn't the problem all along. I definitely just saw that we need some shoes, so we're gonna make two pairs of shoes, and we need some hats. Let's try some beanies to help increase cold tolerance. It is apparently cold season right now for the desert. Everybody's freezing all the time. Katina is cooking, Krista is researching, Paulette is tailoring. That should keep them all fairly close. I mean this, okay, I just looked out the corner of my eyes and I saw the relationship status and that's something we definitely should be paying attention to because that's half of the game that we're playing right now is the relationship between these sisters. And uh, look at this, Krista and Katina plus 30, but Krista and Paulette negative 37. So it's just as much as she likes her oldest sister Katina. She detests Paulette in equal measure. Uh, and I feel like Paulette probably feels kind of the same way. Let's take a look. Worse, so much worse. Okay, Paulette absolutely loathes both of her sisters. She's probably asking herself, why am I even here? This is purgatory. I'm an adult. I shouldn't have to live with my sisters anymore, but here she is. I don't know what it, what's in it for her. <laughs> Let's look at her bio again, because I feel like she's a run yeah, runaway housewife. She could go back to her marriage, but even this, living with the two sisters that she absolutely loathes with a burning passion, is preferable to then turning back and returning to the husband she left behind. That is absolutely saying something because those are two really really terrible choices but at least here I guess she has the opportunity to really make a name for herself and not to live in the shadow of her husband's name that's my story and I'm sticking to it also I'm gonna hit pause because I just saw the red tape that popped up in my notifications we have an aggressive six animals over here we're kind of close to our graveyard which I'm sure they plan to put us in it uh, not great but also so much worse because there are six of the spike-tailed insects, which are shriekers. Possibly the very worst thing in this game that could attack you, personal opinion. But I think they're worse than Junos, to be honest, because these have ranged weaponry. They can shoot spikes at you. They don't have to get in range of you. Flying things are terrible too, but this, this is bad because look at our defenses, man. We're so screwed. I don't know what we're gonna do here. I feel like we're gonna have to stick them in here and shoot from inside. I mean, I guess we could try. I'm gonna start moving some traps back around to the front because if this works the way I think it's gonna work, they're gonna try to come around here to where they can see us, line of sight, and shoot us as I hide my people behind these walls. We're gonna shoot back through here. But to do that, I'm gonna need these traps to sort of catch them uh, ahead of time. So I'm gonna want a few layers. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> these, we're gonna move them around to here. <sighs> oh man. I just don't know. I hope this is gonna work. I don't know if it will. I'm just hoping it will. Berserk animal? Wait a minute, our dogs can have meltdowns too? Did you guys know this? Did anybody know this? Like, did you know? Wait, is my dog attacking my other dog? <gasps> I think they are. I think this is happening. We're gonna lead. Oh my gosh, this cannot be happening. Okay, Krista, wake up. 
We're gonna lead the berserker dog away. Just somebody separate these two dogs because this is not okay. I did not know your dogs could fight in this game. That's that's some new level of realism. Oh my gosh, you. Get this dog under control. I don't know how. What is wrong with this dog? Well, maybe because they're starving and so they're fighting over the food. They need food. I should not have left this on play on fast forward for so long when I did not have a well-oiled machine where they could just go day in and day out like that. And this one, this bully, which one are you? Are you Bluey? Indigo. The new dog Indigo is picking on the puppy. We're gonna have to fix that. Can you knock your dog out? Like, why isn't there an option? You know how when like, when the people go berserk, you have the option to like knock them out. Here, we do not seem to have that option and I really want her to heal this dog. No, somebody's gotta do something about this. This is too much. This is so bad. I, I wanna fix this, but I don't know how to fix it. And I feel like this big dog is gonna destroy my little dog. This is so bad. Can my dog stop berserking? So the one's gonna bleed out in like 12 hours if I don't do something and I don't know what to do. Oh good, one passed out. Okay, okay, okay. Lead this dog inside the camp, please. And then now, 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 she can do it. She can lead the dog. Hopefully before these aggressive animals come kill us because I can't have these dogs out here dying and us trying to heal them without putting them in camp first. Indigo's still technically berserk, so we can't do anything about that, I guess. Krista's leading this dog. She's got hypothermia. I feel like I need to kind of like lead all of these dogs inside. I don't know. It just, it seems like I should get them inside before these scorpion things get here. I don't know what this berserk thing means, but it's bad. We have all these dogs, but none of them are trained to a high enough level to actually be helpful in this fight. They're, they're only helpful in the sense that they're going to do their own thing mindlessly without me being able to draft them and possibly get themselves killed. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, draft. You're going to stand like right here. And that dog is probably going to die, which is terrible. Okay, this is why I wanted to bring all the dogs inside. <sighs> Paulette has the gun. Let's get her out here to shoot the things that are shooting my dog. You are drafted. You're gonna come shoot this too. I need everybody out here now because my dog is dying. Ooh, okay, dog passed out. All right, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to bring the fight inside and hopefully if we can kill them fast enough, we can heal our dogs. They are like trapped, so hang on. Undraft Paulette, can she heal this dog? No, why can't we heal them yet? <sighs> Okay, redraft. Let's come out here and shoot this. All right, dog army is at it. Um, let's just pretend that's what I wanted all along because it's definitely not. But now it looks intentional, right? Like now this looks like a fight that we meant to have, like a coordinated attack. Awesome. Um, and the shakers are falling one by one because we are ganging up on them, which is ideal. But now I really need to heal the dogs and Bluey is dead. That's not what I wanted. Um, and then this one's about to die and it won't let me heal. I just don't understand why healing is off the table for this dog. We're gonna like lose three dogs because they won't let me heal. I don't know, like <laughs> at least part of that attack looked cool, but most of it, the beginning of it was awful. <laughs> I was so excited about having a puppy like five minutes ago. <laughs> What does it say about this? A starving animal will try to find food by attacking enclosures, survivors, or other animals. So all I have to do is feed them and they'll stop being berserk? Jeez, Pete. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully that's all we need to do. And they'll stop being berserk. Probably not though. I would like it to be that simple. I don't think it's gonna be. Wait, but now that I know this, what if, like load game, I think I can fix this. What do we have going on here? The bowl is already empty. Hunt this animal, but we're not gonna just stop there. We're gonna need another one. She's gonna come out here and she's gonna do this. And hunt this and she's gonna come out here and she's gonna butcher this. We're gonna do that. We're gonna stock up. We know that we have to get all this meat, so we're gonna do it. And we're gonna hand feed the pregnant animal, okay? So Indigo is pregnant and she's starving and we're gonna make sure that we feed her like immediately, hang on. Feed Indigo, there we go. Maybe we can stop this dog from berserking if we just feed her now. And then the others we'll feed the drama to meet too. So, okay, we backed up far enough where we didn't have all the beds. So what I'm gonna try to do now, we're gonna relocate our beds here. We're gonna put one here, grab this, I'm gonna put it here, that there, this one here, that's all of those. And then we're gonna make two more. 
copy one, copy two, and because we have a pregnant dog, we'll just make a third or another one too. But we're not done. We're gonna grab this fence and we're gonna fence these suckers in. We'll put a door, copy, rotate right here. Did Indigo get fed? She's eating, okay, good. Katina is transporting the wrong thing. We're gonna have her bring food because she grabbed the uh, leather instead, which is fine. I would like somebody to bring that in obviously, but more importantly, we gotta make sure the food gets brought in. So we're gonna do that first. And I'm actually gonna move the lightning rod back so that we can put their food trough here. And this is just gonna become our little pet pen over here. I know that the enemies won't always be attacking from this side, but at least this time they are. My thinking is I'll be able to put them all in the same location so that when they are aggroed to attack, it'll all be at once and not just because one dog was wandering over here by itself. It's progress. It's at least some kind of progress, I think, so. Paulette is up, finally. Okay, we're gonna craft some bandages. And we need to always at least have 10. So let's bump that to the top of our queue. I did want to add shoes to our tailoring bench and hats, that's right. Some beanies as well. And we'll let them get the move on that. Not gonna worry right now about a lost harvest. Okay, um. I feel like things are moving along nicely. We haven't made the trade deal yet. We do have a new resource bandages, which we definitely need to continue making a lot of. Katina says, I think the moon bodes something good. We shall see. <laughs> Somebody needs to make sure this fire stays burning. I don't know how this keeps happening. Let's keep this lit. Numbingly cold. She's relaxed enough, so I'm gonna bring her over here to do some research. That'll put her by the fire and hopefully warm her up. Here it is, our trade ship. So let's do our trade deal. Again, we don't have a lot of the resources they want, but what we do have, they can have. So we can give them these healing bombs that she's been crafting. That's at least gonna provide some value. Um, we will give them, let's do five of our 15 uh, first aid kits because we're gonna still need some for ourselves. So we're gonna keep 10. We have two bandages now and I feel like we could just craft some more. How much cloth do we have? We have a lot of cloth. So yeah, I think we just make some more. We can load the trading pod during the day when there's sunlight and a little bit more warmth because being out there in 17 degree Fahrenheit weather and that is, seven, that's by the fire pit. Here it is, our newborn. We're gonna name this one Orange. We're gonna assign owner here to Orange. So now they have their own bed. And I wanted to move the food trough, but I feel like while they're eating is not the time to do it. Meanwhile, Katina can move these traps for us. Krista can load the pod now that it's warmer. Actually, it's not warmer out. We're gonna, we're gonna try this anyway. I'm gonna have her craft some beanies after she's done with that bandage because I think they need something to help them deal with this cold. It has gone on far too long. They're just unable to leave the fireside because they're too cold to do work anywhere else. I mean, the ground's literally covered in frost, so. Let's move this in here. We're almost out of the food already. So fast, so fast. We need more hunting. Paulette has pneumonia. She can heal herself though, that's fine. There's just like not, honestly, just not a lot of animals to hunt here. We're like really hurting for hunting. Okay, I'm gonna save this progress because I know how difficult this has been. So we're gonna save. This, it's going good. We're good here. <laughs> this is so far so good. Maybe now we'll actually have a, a decent outcome when we come up against, and that's why I'm not sitting in a balloon, by the way, to go check out that expedition. One, because self-destruct alerts, I don't normally find anything super good there anyway. Um, the other thing is like, kind of know that we're gonna get attacked. So I'm just not trying to do that right now. I'm trying to do something to help us prepare for that. And Paulette, did you finish a beanie? Because I feel like you should be wearing it if you're sleeping so far away from the fire that you're always freezing it night she should at least put the beanie on look at this i'm going out of my way to make sure we keep meat on the menu for our dogs lesson learned the hard way with as many dogs as we have there we go and these two should be about their business as well and i also feel like now would be a great time to build one of these all right so we're gonna take um weapons and apparel off of the list here because we can now put those in the thing that she's constructing, the wardrobe. Which means we'll have room on here for all the other things like this that we didn't have room for a second ago. And she's done constructing that, we can have her store undesired items. That should really help us out. Just queuing up some things for them to do. 
And then we're gonna go back to two speed. There are the aggressive seven. Was it always seven? They're gonna aggro pretty soon, which I feel a little better. I feel a little bit more ready this time, maybe sorta. And we've got Krista in here sleeping, probably freezing. At least she has the hat on now, so it's not telling me that she's freezing. Waking her up set her off though. <laughs> so uh, note to self, don't wake them up in the middle of the night, even if it's for their own benefit, where I was trying to light this so she could stay warmer, but far be it from me to tell her what to do in the middle of the night. Paulette, we're gonna have to draft you and bring you back now. And I guess Krista's just gonna continue to have her meltdown. Katina is handling the fire pit like I wanted her to, which is good, because I want them to at least be warm while they battle. <laughs> it took a lot of work to get, get this right. So hopefully this time it goes well. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to draft her and bring her here. I don't know where Krista's going. The psychopath is going into harm's way, so that's great. Of course she is, because she couldn't just keep throwing her tantrum inside. Oh good, 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 we're, d we're done with that. Great, because we need her to be done with that. We need them to be ready to fight. So here it is. Here is the fight, here are the dogs. There are my three girls, who are hopefully going to realize that they can start firing soon on that thing. Who's got the longest range? She does, please start shooting. And I think, yeah, she can start shooting too now. That's good. Let's do that. And the dogs are set off. And I think what set them off is one of the humans taking an injury. So Katina getting hit with a spike-tailed thing seems to have been a, what triggered the dogs. I mean, this is going so much better, you guys, than in previous runs. So the dogs are getting in there for the melee attack and then the, the, the women are the ranged fighters. This feels very much like an RPG now. <laughs> so there we go, RPG uh, tactics. Hopefully we'll be able to heal this dog. See now our things are too far out of range. So we're gonna take our three survivors and we're gonna bring them over here to shoot this because I don't want this thing continuing to kill my dogs. That's just a no-go. I need them to keep firing on this one because this one's attacking a dog. Last one. Hopefully healing is an option. So we're gonna undraft for a second, everybody. And then I'm gonna see, Paula is healing a dog. Let's see what dog she heals. She's going in to get some healing stuff. Katina's got some healing stuff. Yes, look at that. They're healing the dogs. Finally, <laughs> it's working. And they're actually healing them when they're knocked unconscious and injured. We got through that without losing any dogs without losing any people, I'm assuming. Like, I haven't tried to heal these guys yet, so I don't know who has the medication to do this, or if we have enough medication to heal everybody, but I think so. I think we'll be all right. Krista is awaiting treatment. Oh, no medicines in reach. What does that mean? Maybe we should craft some more bandages. I don't feel like we went through them all, though. Let's see. Yeah, we did. Okay. Well, we can have her craft some more. Katina is gonna have to heal herself. And then, oh, shit. This dog is really, really injured. How do, I, how do I heal this? Bleeding four per hour. Okay, so we have 10 hours to craft a lot of bandages. So we are not out of the water yet. I thought we were in the clear. We are not in the clear. We did not have enough bandages at all to do this. So we're gonna have to keep crafting them and keep using them as fast as she is crafting them. So Paulette crafted some bandages. We're gonna have her try to heal yellow and then we're gonna have her craft some more. I did not tell her to heal that one. I told her to heal this one. Okay, already doing it. She ran all the way out there to do it, but okay. I would really much rather have Katina do the healing while Paulette crafts, but we're not getting that option right now with her going berserk, of course. How much time do we have left on this one? Seven hours, bleeding out in seven hours. We have to make this work somehow. So Paulette, craft some bandages. Let's do that. Actually, let's have Paulette. Yeah, she's doing that now. That's good. Because we are like, we have no medicine. We have no healing bombs, no first aid kits, no bandages. We have nothing. And Paulette just collapsed. And I'm pretty sure Krista will not craft at all. She's incapable. Well, at least Katina's done with her meltdown. She can craft some bandages for us, even though she's also on the verge of collapse. Push and power through until everybody's healed enough to not die. <laughs> I'm setting the bar pretty low here. The, the goal here is just to not die. Like, I don't want Katina to die. I don't want Krista to die. And I don't want our dog to die who's over here bleeding out in four hours. So asking for the bare minimum here. Don't let anybody die. Like, that's... That's it, that's all we want out of this. We just don't want anybody to die. Being a profitable uh, outpost would be better, but at the very least, just keep people alive. Like that's, that's the goal right now, just keeping people alive. Katina, come on. 
Power through, girl, power through. Pause, do not go to sleep. Heal this dog. And then Paulette, wake up and craft some more bandages while Katina is doing that. Ah, uh, this is scary. That little red line is just so low right now. Ooh, I don't like it. That's very, very bad. Pause. Paulette healing the dog. Okay, good, good, good. Tag in, tag out. Does she have it in her to craft some more bandages? We're gonna try. Now we've got a revolving door thing going on here. This is good. We've got a system. Let's keep it going. Let's make sure that we are being as efficient as possible. We're trying to save lives here. <laughs> How's our dog doing? Uh, still bleeding out, but bleeding out in seven hours. We've gained a little time. Katina did just pass out while crafting those bandages. So I'm gonna need Paulette to finish the job here. She, she gets the assignment. She finished the bandages. Now she's gonna come heal the dog. Here we go. Like down to that last sliver of life there. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Oh man, that was pretty bad. <laughs> like that was last second stuff right there. Ugh, Paulette, how much rest do you have left? Let's craft some more bandages because we still have your sisters to heal who are also struggling. Krista, hypothermia, wake up and go stand next to the fire if we're trying to prevent you from freezing to death. <laughs> trying to prevent people from bleeding to death, trying to keep people from freezing to death. And right at it, Paulette is amazing. We Have we decided, I think before we said Krista was MVP, but right now I'm like, seriously changing my mind about that. I'm feeling very much so like Paulette is the MVP here. <laughs> like she is so like irreplaceable in this situation. Like everybody would not be accounted for is what I'm trying to say if Paulette was not here for this evolution. <laughs> like MVP award goes to Paulette, no longer Krista the Builder, but Paulette the Hunter slash Healer. She's keeping everybody fed and alive. She's keeping everybody healed. She's crafting all the bandages and medical supplies that are saving lives. She is a one woman hospital. Gotta give it up for Paulette. <laughs> no wonder she resents her sisters. She feels like she's more than pulling her weight. Speaking of relationships, do they like her any better now that she's saved their lives? Cause I definitely feel like they should. <laughs> Krista is still waiting for some heals. So we still have insufficient medicines though. What does she need? Stabs are treated, pneumonia is suppressed. I don't know what else she needs to heal. I guess just recovery. So that's awaiting treatment though. I don't know. We are out of resources for crafting any more bandages and we're down to the last bandage. We need to start thinking about restocking our cloth for bandages and we need to... What are our fields here exactly? Grain cob, glitter cap, grain grass, cloth blossom. Um, yeah, we're changing the crop here, but then we also needed some medication. So change this crop to the branched cacti. How do we have a starving animal? No. No, I just got through all of this. We need more people to run this farm. We need more hands on deck. This is ridiculous. And Paulette's having a sad wander now, which she deserves, by the way. And notice she's just sad wandering and not just destroying equipment. Good on her. <laughs> Let her be the one to set the example. Here's the thing. We brought in meat before the attack. So there's definitely food to feed these dogs. Which dog is starving? Let's make sure it eats when she puts food in the, in the trough. So we don't have another berserker on our hands. So dog, there is food. Come to the food. Starving doggy is also the pregnant doggy because of course it is. Which dog is this? Is this, is this indigo? It's indigo. Why is indigo need to be hand fed? Why is that the only way to get her to eat? We're gonna watch, but I bet you she doesn't go over here and eat. I think we're gonna have to hand feed her. She's just not, she won't. I have a cat like this too, who won't eat with the other cats, who just is a little bit prissy about it and just won't. So we're gonna bring Katina in here to hand feed Indigo. Could have had the good food, the good meat, but no, they're gonna get the animal meat because they didn't wanna eat out of the trough with the other dogs. Wait, where is she going? Oh, she's rescuing somebody who fainted. Okay, but Indigo still needs to eat. Who's our starving dog? We did not go through all this, just to have a dog berserk on us after all. So let's do this. Let's make this happen. Make sure she's fed. Let's make sure she eats. There we go. No more starving dogs. It's like the entire, ugh, the entire evolution of this playthrough has just been prevent starvation, make enough bandages and medication to keep everybody alive. That's it. This has not been a very profitable playthrough round at all, except for that first trade deal we made for 22K, which was modest, but at least we did it because this has been a nightmare. Like now that we do have the extra money, maybe we can hire somebody. We're gonna post a job offer and see if we can get somebody in the next five days to accept and help us out with running this place because we do have extra funds. Maybe just maybe that'll make a difference. 
I cannot progress very far with these girls when they're barely surviving. Like we're just focused on surviving at this point and we're not able to get ahead with building the infrastructure that we need and producing the output that we need to be profitable. So yeah, that is my new goal. We have 77K, hopefully enough for somebody's salary to hire on. Krista is still awaiting treatment that's not coming. Um, we need to harvest some branch cacti, I think. Do we have any over here for harvest? Maybe I can bring her out here to harvest her own medication. And then if she does that, maybe then she can heal. I don't know, it's a thought. Maybe we can pull this off. And I'm not gonna let the buzzards have this. We need these because we have a lot of mouths to feed, so we're not giving this kill to the buzzards. We're gonna harvest this for our own needs. Okay, well, we have a ton of grain, so why don't we ferment some antibodies? We have this gorgeous desert oasis going on here. We just can't get quite get there with making it comfortable and definitely feeling like uh, getting all these dogs was a huge mistake. Bring food. Let's do that instead of whatever she's doing now. Are both barrels? Yes, both barrels are loaded. That's good. Katina still has hypothermia because we have not refueled fire. I don't know why that always happens. It used to stay lit or they would keep it. Oh, we don't have a handler. That's why it takes a handler to keep the fire lit. And all the monsters are butchered. When are these barrels gonna finish fermenting so we can heal Katina? I need the third person back up and running. We're entering a cold snap, which is not something we needed right now. People are already struggling just to survive. And Krista is building. She's way out there. How cold is it? It's not that cold yet. It's 73 degrees, but it's gonna get colder. Also, do we have anything just loitering that we could hunt? Any nearby animals? Heck, even this bloated insect, we'll take it. We're not picky anymore about what the dogs eat. We just can't afford to be. Once we have like an extra hand helping out around here, then we can get a little bougie. But right now the dogs eat what they eat and they, they, they're they thankful for it. Pneumonia suppressed, there we go, about time. So some sneakers, my girl. Small steps, but important steps. Okay, severe hypothermia, obviously Katina and Krista who, yeah, needs to stay here. So she's gonna come back and eat. I mean, our girl Paula is doing her part again to save them. So she's sewing some shoes. We have some aggressive animals again. And a contact offer. I don't care what her skills are, we're taking her. <laughs> My name is Vanessa and I'm skilled in healing, intellect, cooking, crafting, and physical. Yes, we wanna hire her. We can't afford two years, so we'll hire her for a year. But then we need her to like, I don't know, we'll figure out like what she can do. Like obviously handling, yes. But what else she does, I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, bring it in, Krista, bring it in, come eat. Please come eat. <laughs> we finally hired somebody, that is a huge win. This has been such a struggle for so long. I haven't been able to hi hire anyone. What is Katina doing? Cooking some more, that's fine. As long as she stays where the fire is to keep her warm, because this hypothermia, I don't know what else to do about it. Like, she's as close to the fire as she can get. Uh, clothing wise, she has, oh, we need another sleeping spot. We need to extend this. It matters to me that this doesn't look ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's already bad, it's already sad. We need it to at least look, I don't know, like there's no holes where there shouldn't be holes in the walls kind of thing. And our new girl Vanessa's gonna arrive just in time for this horrid monster attack. So that's awesome for her. It's 34 out there, it's 52 in here by the fire. So Vanessa, hello, welcome to the team. Let's put a hat on you. I don't know that that's gonna make any difference whatsoever to you, but that's gonna be your first order of business. You're gonna put on a hat. Okay, I'm gonna save, even though I have no idea how well we're gonna be able to keep them alive through the rest of this day between the animal attack that's definitely coming and the fact that they're all freezing to death and there's not anything warmer for them to put on. That said, we're still gonna save. And then I need Krista to stop constructing and I need her to just come stand over here because I need her to stay warm. We're having an issue here with people staying warm. We're going to also draft you and just stand you right here by the fireplace so you too can stay warm. Okay, so the hypothermia warning went away, which is good. I don't think I have any weapons to speak of to arm. Um, we have a spear, so she can put on a, she can grab the spear, which is good. And I do feel like this has kind of gone on long enough. We've already gotten through one animal attack and we finally, finally hired somebody who's gonna help us with this family business. Somebody who's not from the family and she's gonna have to deal with all of their issues, their family issues. If you were an outsider joining the 
Kardashian clan. That's kind of what's happening here. Vanessa doesn't know what she walked into, but she's gonna find out one way or the other, especially now that we are about to be attacked yet again by more of these really, really, really dangerous spike-tailed animals. And this time they're coming from the other direction and we have not reset our traps. So, uh, que sera, sera. <laughs> that is it for me for this playthrough. We're gonna save right here with this looming animal attack for the next round. I hope you had fun watching this with me and keeping up with the sisters on the family empire. And I hope that the next video that I put out is a wild success story compared to the tragedy that this one was. Although we are ending on a high note, we have all of our dogs surviving and we finally gained a new hiree. So those are all very good things. And if you haven't already, please check out my other videos. And of course, subscribe if you are interested in being notified when that next one is going to come out. And that's everything. I'll see you guys then. Bye.